Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to continue to talk about fractions, but we're going to talk about fractions with number bonds today. So our learning goal for today says, I can represent parts of one whole as fractions with number bonds. So the materials that you'll need for this lesson are your dry erase board and your lesson eight sprint B. So make sure that you grab both of those things um, and then click play when you're ready to begin the lesson. All right, so friends, we're gonna start off with our application problem. So it says, for breakfast, Mr. Schwartz spent one-sixth of his money on a coffee and one-sixth of his money on a bagel. What fraction of his money did Mr. Schwartz spend on breakfast? So you're gonna pause the video. You can draw a picture if you would like to help model this. However you would like to do to be able to solve this problem, it's totally up to you. Uh, but go ahead and find out how much or what fraction of his money Mr. Schwartz spent on breakfast. Um, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Okay, so here I was looking at one sixth of the money on coffee and one sixth of the money on a bagel. So that's telling me that my fractional unit is sixth, sixths for this. So here I'm going to draw a rectangle to represent Mr. Schwartz's money, okay? So here I know that each part is going to be one sixth because that's the unit fraction. So I'm just gonna fill all the rest of this in. One sixth is how much he spent on coffee and one sixth is how much he spent on a bagel. So if I combine those together, I can count by that. So it would be one sixth, two sixths. So Mr. Schwartz spent two sixths of his money on breakfast. Okay, all right, so hopefully you guys got that one too. All right, let's start our work with number bonds. So you're gonna draw a number bond decomposing four into four ones. Okay, so first, I'm gonna actually do this one with you. So here I have four, and then I'm gonna decompose it into four ones. One, two, three, four, okay? Because four ones make four. So this is kind of a simple example of a way to start this. Now, show a number bond decomposing four into two parts. One part should be composed of three ones this time. So last time we had four parts, and um, each one of them was one one. This time you need to make a, um, a number bond that shows four into two parts. One part should be composed of three ones, and then you have to come up with the other one should be, the other part. Okay, so pause the video, draw your number bond, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. Okay, so here's what I came up with. So we know that the whole is four, the two parts, one of them should be three ones, and the other part, if one is three, the other part has to be one, because three plus one is four. So it took three copies to make three, okay? What are the two parts of our number bond? Yeah, three ones and one one. What are the differences between these two number bonds? So take a minute and look. What's the, what do you notice is the difference between them? Yeah, so the first number bond has all the ones separated, right? So there's four parts. The second bond has three instead of three ones. The first bond has more parts than the second bond. But both bonds are different ways of showing the same number, four, okay? So that's kind of interesting to analyze those number bonds. They're both showing the same total, but they're showing it in different ways. Okay, so now we're gonna draw a number bond decomposing one into four unit fractions. Okay, so we're gonna take one, and we're gonna split it up into four unit fractions. So if we're splitting up into fours, what's our fractional unit going to be? Fourths, right? So then you would have to write your number bond using fourths. So pause the video, draw your number bond, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, so here's my one. Make sure to pause if you need more time, by the way. <laughs> All right, so here's one, and then my four unit fractions would be one-fourth, 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 
and one fourth. You can count those one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, which makes a whole. Okay, so now you're going to show a number bond decomposing one into two parts. So one part should be composed of three copies of that unit fraction. So remember last time when we did the example with just the numbers, the number bond for four ended up being three and one because three was three copies of one. Okay, so give this a try where you're doing three copies of that unit fraction. So that unit fraction that we just did was one fourth. So you're doing three copies of that. That has to be one part and then you have to come up with the other part. So pause the video, draw your number bond, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. So here I have one. One of the parts is going to be three copies, which would be three fourths. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths. That's my three copies. The other part of my number bond would have to be one fourth to make the one whole. All right, so what unit fraction did we copy to make the number 3 fourths? 1 fourth. All right, so what are the differences between these two number bonds? All right, so one is the first bond has the unit fractions all separated, right? So there's four of them. The second bond has three fourths and one fourth, so they did two parts of the number bond. The first bond has more parts than the second bond, right? And that means that the second bond has less parts than the first one. And then both bonds are different ways of showing the same number, one whole. All right, so which figures on sprint B match your number bond? So this is where you need to have your sprint. So you can look at the page itself. So you're looking for fractions that have three fourths and one fourth. So pause the video, find all of the ones that have those modeled, and then you can jot those down on your dry erase board. And then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, here's what I came up with. So pause if you need more time. So three, six, nine, 11, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25 all model either three fourths or one fourth. Okay, so did you guys get all those? Okay, awesome. Good job, friends. All right, so we're going to draw a number bond now decomposing one into five unit fractions. So think about it's asking us five unit fractions. Think about what that fractional unit would be. So pause the video, draw your number bond, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. All right, so here's what I came up with. So there's my one is the whole, one fifth, because it said five unit fractions. So that's telling you one fifth um, is how I would have my parts for my number bond. So one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths. Okay, so five unit fractions represented this way. Now notice when I just counted those, I counted around by the units each time to make sure that I had the total, the correct total number. Okay, so you could have said one fifth, one fifth, one fifth, one fifth, one fifth. Um, that's absolutely fine too. I was counting so I didn't make a mistake and put too many. All right, so now you're going to show your number bond decomposing into one into two parts. One part should be composed of two copies of the unit fraction. So remember, the unit fraction was one fifth. So now you need to have one part that represents two copies of one fifth, and then you have to determine the other part. So pause the video, draw your number bond, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here we go. All right, so there's my one whole. Two copies of one fifth is two fifths. And then I would count to find three fifths would be the other part. All right, so what unit fraction did we copy to make the number two fifths? Yeah, one fifth. One fifth and one fifth make two fifths. 
All right, so which figures on sprint B match your number bond? So go ahead and pause the video. Look through, you're looking for two fifths and three fifths. And then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Otherwise, here's what I came up with. 30, 31, 32, and 33. Did you guys come up with those too? All right, awesome. If not, make sure you just go take a peek at those to show them how they are modeling two-fifths and three-fifths. All right, so great job, friends, representing parts of one whole as fractions with number bonds. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. Yeah.